So for the first tip is that you can basically return anything that you buy from Sephora. Um, the limit is 60 days, so make sure to keep your boxes and your receipts so that you can return them. Otherwise, it's okay if you don't have a receipt, but they'll need your ID, and I feel like um, there's only a limit of how many items you can return without a receipt to Sephora. Now, usually the product has to be at least half full, but I know sometimes if you try like a skincare product and it doesn't work for your skin or like the results weren't what you hoped, um, they weren't what you hoped, then uh, sometimes they might give you like a return even if the bottles are empty. So at Banish, we also like offer returns and even if the bottles are empty, you can always return them and get your money back. So definitely keep the boxes and the receipts of the products you use at Sephora. And let me share with you guys how crazy I am. Let me just share with you guys Crazy Daisy. Um, I don't know why I can't bring myself to return, but in here, oh my God, it's all falling, are like boxes and boxes of empty boxes. So I just can't, I don't know why I can't throw away makeup boxes. It's not like I return it, but it's just, I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe one day I'll like create a collage or something, I don't really know. Okay, so another thing is uh, Sephora has like these beauty points, right? So every dollar equals one point and for like every $100 or every $250 or $500, um, you can redeem those for different gifts. And those never expire, so the points never expire. So you can collect them as long as you want and wait for the best like little perks to come out. Also, did you know that the more expensive products are kept at eye level? So if you're looking for cheaper products, try to go below eye level to find sales or good deals. So customers who spend over $350 a year receive VIB status, which stands for a very important beauty insider. So this will give you like kind of special um, promos and um, they give you, I think, a 20% VIB like um, discount sale, which happens once a year. Um, so basically you get 20% off on anything at Sephora, which is really great because there's a lot of brands like YSL that never go on sale and it's just really great to get it on sale. <laughs> there's also, if you spend $1,000 or more per year, you get VIB Rouge status. Now, VIB Rouge status um, gets you free makeovers, like every time you go into the store, free shipping and a beauty concierge service. So I am not, I've never been VIB Rouge status but I've been VIB status. And the reason why I'm not VIB Rouge status is I actually buy a, a lot of my makeup items at Nordstrom simply because I feel like the return policy is a lot better because they have like, um, like you can return really any time and they have like the special label on the box so that way you don't need to keep your receipt. I don't know, little things like that I just I just like to do. And also I buy online from Nordstrom a lot because there's free shipping no matter how much you spend. But if you are going to like a lot of weddings or like a lot of different events, like if you're like a red carpet celebrity or whatever, it might be useful to get rouge status so that way before you go to a wedding or before you go to a party, you can always get your makeup done and that is definitely a good deal because if you guys know how much it is to get your makeup professionally done, it's pretty expensive. So definitely if you want to be VIB Rouge status, um, decide in the beginning of the year because it's for one calendar year if you want to be VIB Rouge status. Um, you don't want to like spend like, let's say $995 and not have the kind of status and perks. If an item goes on sale within two weeks purchasing it, you can always get the price difference. So at a Sephora store, you can get um, free samples and you can get up to like three free samples per visit. That's like technically the limit that you can get. Um, so for example, instead of like, if I'm only visiting a city for a day and I forgot my face wash, instead of actually buying a face wash, I might just hop into a Sephora and get like three little samples of face wash and use that. Don't buy the travel size items because they're like a huge rip off per, um, if you calculate the amount per ounce versus buying the full size package. So instead, buy the full size items and then put them in like, buy these little containers, um, these like travel size containers of things and just pour them in yourself. Um, now I don't follow this rule. I don't follow this rule because I always buy the, the, the small items, the small size items because I don't know. It's, 
I feel like it, it it's different when you like use it from the bottle it's supposed to be versus then like filling it up yourself. Do you guys think so? I, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I think things are different when you when it comes from the package than like when you package it yourself. That's just crazy me. Okay. Did you know that 15 minute like services like an eye makeup or like you know doing a foundation service is actually free when you go into Sephora? And I think MAC, if you want them to do your makeup, I think you have to purchase like, I think it's $50. I'll put it below of how much you need to purchase before they can do your makeup at MAC. So if you wanna just get a quick smoky eye in, if you're in Vegas, wanna get a quick smoky eye, stop in a Sephora. So Sephora doesn't have like official sales, but you can find items that are on sales, are on sale, and they're at the corners of the store or on the edge of the aisle. So definitely check there to see if items are on sale. They're like, you know, where you like the mirror is and then the beauty products are. There's sometimes bins where they have sale items there. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for different beauty tips and hacks. And let me know in the comments below what your secret um, methods of shopping for at Sephora or any other makeup store are. Those are some that I just found while researching and also ones that I kind of do myself. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.